I am a legend. You better yeah. know get it. So far, across the week, you just got drier and fuller, and today, you're literally perfect. All fatigue has dropped off, and we're just big, full and dry. We've no use to diuretics, nothing fancy, no stupid protocols. We've just gotten better across the week, mate, which is perfect. So from here, mate, we're holding push forward. Good morning, my people. So it is quarter to five. I'm just cracking on with the check-ins. Uh, I've already done like four edits and shower, but you know, we're definitely cracking on, so I need to get my feedback back to the guys now, as soon as I can. Um, this, like I said, there's 21 guys doing it, so I'm gonna get this done, take my own checking pictures, go for a quick walk, which Ed's gonna and co accompany me with. And today, I actually had um, a two and a half pound drop overnight, bringing my rate of loss up to like four pounds off this week, so today I'm gonna run a high day, and to be honest, I felt it yesterday, as I just felt like death. So today is going to be a minimum day of expenditure and a high day. So I'm excited for that. Uh, but for now, I'll get your job done, get the job done guys. Like today, the separation and condition is incredible. Um, hopefully now you see why exactly I peaked this way. Um, mate, these are perfect. The leanest you've been, full, plenty of pop. It's insane. Like literally, your glutes are literally inside out, which is amazing. So, a little bit on how I run my peak weeks. Um, it's daily manipulations, I pretty much reverse diet everyone into the show and manage the fatigue most importantly. So everyone will pretty much be deloaded into the show and they're all like shocked why they're still losing weight, why they're still eating and why they're still getting drier and fuller. It's simply down to being ready early. Everyone's been ready seven days out, so it's been zero stress for me. Um, and to be honest, it's been daily manipulations based off the look and a base of condition. Some people needed to pull back, some people needed more food. And generally, literally looking at these shots, 10 people already have gone through and they're all absolutely insane on the money. No fat, no water, no diuretics used, super full, super dry, literally on the money, so I couldn't be any happier. Um, I will do a separate video on how I peak 21 people um, and that will drop just a single video, no editing, raw, and I'll get that in for you guys. Uh, but yeah, very happy with this. Mate, these are perfect. Definitely flamed off a little bit over the night, uh, but nevertheless, I think once you get some water in now, and once you get meal one in, you'll fill straight back up. I want pictures before every single meal, mate. Uh, please, if that's okay. Uh, show day menu, uh, please do 100 grams of cream of ice and 40 grams of almond butter for your first meal, and then we can reassess before second meal, please, bud. Super early day. And then 10, 11, 12, 1, and then do another meal for sure. Right. So, meal one going down. I've got three bagels, 100 grams of salmon. Meg has to go and let the chickens out. Genuinely has to go and let the chickens out. And get some steps in. So, I'm going to eat this. Um, make sure that everything's packed, all the food packed, everything packed, yeah? Yeah, is everything packed, all the food? I've put, I've put, I've put all the bags in the, in the car, yeah? Yeah? Right, that's all sorted. Uh, half of my clients are already sorted, um, so all good. So I'm happy, everyone's on point, zero stress, so absolutely awesome. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy this now. Uh, free bagels, bloody hell. Um, to be honest, I am absolutely starving. And I'm never really hungry that, that hungry in the morning. So we'll get this down, uh, chill, let make those steps, and then we'll pick it up on the way. So, top of the morning to you guys, top of the morning to you. So, Carter just gave me a bit. Now it's just feet up again, chilling, um, checking again before meal two. Shout out to Cuba, you know what? He's been, he's messaged me at half four this morning, he's up, he's on it, um, and he's been replying within 30 seconds at every single message I'm sending him. So shout out to Cuba, thank you very much, I appreciate you. Um, let's go get it done, boy. That's everyone up to date. I've pretty much been waiting on everyone to kind of message me. 
um, just so no one is having to wait for any replies. Because naturally I know how stressful show day is. So for me it's quite important to have guys you know on the ball with it. So you know definitely happy with that and happy with the schedule. So high day today, so a lot of it being sure from JP. Um, I will be using, so I'll take that with me. Uh, what do we need to get? Meg's retainers. Meg's retainers and mum's key, yeah. Always been awesome. He was super excited when I was coming to Florida. One of us has had a time where a, a coach sent us a protocol or a diet or something, and you want to be like, I want to take a little more than that. It's about personal responsibility. Mm -hmm. And you have to do some of your own fucking digging and research and be able to, to say if I want to take this or don't want to take this. It's early. 30 minutes early. How many guys have we got competing in the uh, bodybuilding classes, Cuba? <laughs> Seven. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we've got 21, 21 athletes all together from myself. Um, so I can't wait. Can't wait. It's going to be immense, massive, massive show. So really looking forward to it, to be honest. Updating the uh, updating the other clients whilst you wait for those guys to step on stage. It's been mental. Are you actually ready to watch the muscle? How you feeling, Jay? Alright, mate. Yeah? Good, yeah. Happy with the package you brought in? Yeah. Should be. Come on, lad. Yes, Nathan! How was it up there, man? Great, very, some of the poses. Uh, I think the side tricep, holding it for ages and keeping the core in as well. But it was good, it's a good experience. In third place. Oh, <laughs> you said that on purpose, I guess. <laughs> In third place, Tomasz Zielinski. Being our winner of men's bodybuilding novice goes to number 299, Leon Evans. Leaning <laughs> our winner is number 306. Nathan Bradley!
Nathan in the middle please, on the two bro spot. And if we could do... How, the, how are we thinking the day's going so far for guys? Awesome mate, awesome. Great results. So I'm happy man. Just so that it's all on the same level. <laughs> then obviously on stage you're like, oh yeah, okay. I know. So, where is this beat? What, what are you looking for in, the, in that sort of check-in? We're just checking that food's going down nice on sure day, making sure that the tummy stays nice and tight. If it wasn't, then we'd probably pull food a little bit, but while we're in staying tight, she actually competed for the first time two weeks ago? Yeah. Two weeks ago. Um, at another regionals, so this is the second time that she's going to compete. She's actually my youngest competitor this year in the junior class. Um, so she'll be doing the juniors today and her open height, which will be amazing. And um, and then we're going to go on to the Arnold's in four weeks. Yeah, so she can go and do the the junior class. Are you doing the open heights there as well? No, just juniors. Okay, just the juniors at the at the Arnold's. So it'll be good. It'd be nice to be able to see. And obviously, I'll be there over that weekend too. I'll see what I need to see that. Oh, yeah, totally. yeah, perfect. Nice breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever, and then back to it yeah, from Tuesday. Yeah, we've already made plans sushi. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And then back to it from Tuesday, yeah? Yes. Honestly. Sorry. That's the shot you need to hit. Okay. That's ridiculous. Last minute. Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> Can't get fine, keep on. Sorry. Can't get fine. Tricep into your lap. Bring your tricep into your lap. But at the minute you're like this, that's not going to open your lap up. Different one. Right, yeah. Look how much. So, just a quick in person check in with a couple of clients. I did tell them all, oh, look, guys, I'm here. If you need me, you need me. But a lot of them are actually just chilling um, in the rooms, so that's totally fine as well. Uh, but yeah, all good. A very successful day. So, definitely happy. Just need to keep getting shit done. So, see what we can do, guys. Could we squeeze together for the winner shots, guys? Squeeze together, just a bit closer together, please. And your favourite classic physique pose. First place, big guy. How'd that feel? It's amazing, man. Who has been incredible, man. Second to none. Best coach out of this work. Yeah. Decent prep. Yeah, good prep. Good prep, man. Good off season, which is important. Uh, got the food nice and high. Uh, not to taper it down, but it was tough. Obviously, you can see by my eyes, but. It all works in the end, so yeah. Do you enjoy some donuts now? Yeah, well, I've got a little bit more to do. And I've got a box of donuts, some that are courtesy of the bigger man, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, how are you finding the stage experience? Loving it, absolutely loving it. Uh, cool has been unreal. Like, as, a, as a coach, like, I'm all prep, I've been up at four o'clock every morning, and by quarter to five, I've had a reply every morning, every check in. This morning I was up at, well, I've put it this way, I've been up since 11 o'clock last night, I've not slept. Uh, Message to Cooper, my pictures at quarter past three this morning, I think by 16 minutes past three I've got a reply. So, as a coach, unreal. Made prep so much easier. Um, and yeah, absolutely loved it. Now to uh, go do the final dance and see where we place. And in second place. Could you take the award to number two? Four eight, Dom Kirby. Meaning our winner is two eight zero, Joe Richardson. Happy with it? Yeah, buzzing, mate. You looked incredible. Mm. To be honest, mate, you should have won that. We all know him. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. You know, we both know that Dom can still be a lot better. It's his first show. First ever show? Be, first ever show, mate. Never competed, so... Shit, man. And he can still be a lot better, and he will be a lot better, so... That's the plan. 
Well, I'll get you some more, yeah? Crazy. It's been a crazy, crazy day, full of success. Um, definitely happy, you know, everyone's brought the best package. Everyone's literally nailed it, so yeah. incredible. Super proud of everyone. Um, obviously, Josh is going to stay, capture the rest, capture the girls, get all the interviews, all the clients as well. Um, I'm actually four weeks out, so I'm dying, I'm flagging already, so I need to go home and get in bed. Um, I've got a three and a half drive hour, I've got a three and a half hour drive home, so I need to get in the car, get on the road, get our meals in, and get rested. With sugar free caramel and sugar free hazelnut. Successful show? Very successful, so I'm just going to get a decaf coffee. It's actually refit day, but I actually get hungry, so one of the things uh, decaf keeps me sane on a rest day. I've actually not had any coffee today at all, so I'm very happy. Um, so yeah, we shall see. Get this in, get in the car, um, start cracking on some work. Meg's going to drive now, uh, so I can work and then see what's what. So looking forward to it. All the girls are on next, so we've already had three wins. Um, two second places, so we'll see what's what next. Can I have some ice in it, please? How are your clients doing so far at the show, Meg? Good. One. Girl's just done, the first one's just done hers and she won her class. She's actually a natural. And she went up against, she went up against, she went up against all the girls in the overall and we pretty much think that she comes second to Cuba's client. Obviously Cuba's client was a pro. Yeah, Cuba's client was a pro in another league before well, last year. She's probably, she's probably going to get pro by the arms. Yeah, yeah. Um, so obviously Lucy's a first timer, so to come next to her and not look out of place, it's pretty fucking real. And when she first started with me, she she had like muscle because she'd always been sporty, but she wasn't a bodybuilder, if you know what I mean. It was so, nothing like... So it's, it, her, her transformation's unreal, so I'm very proud of her. So it'd be good. But all the bikini girls are about to start, well, probably in like... <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good job we came home. So yeah, lots of mine and Cuba's clients, like the dense amount of clients that are doing the show today um, are actually in bikini so fortunately we've not had been able to see them but need to must on the rest day. So guys I'm not going to go into too much of a wrap up as I'm going to do an extra wrap up once everyone has actually competed uh, but I'm going to do a wrap up for now before we wrap it up for today as the girls are going to be on till 10pm and it's going to be way past my bedtime so so far guys excellent results we've got Nathan winning his class over 40 his masters Eon winning novice heavyweight and fourth in open heavyweight class. Dom winning his classic class division and coming second as well. Cam Butler coming second in his classic class. Kirk, men's physique coming second. Christy winning figure class and overall in figure. Uh, Dave coming away with fourth in heavyweight. Corey coming away with sixth in super heavyweight. And then Carter coming away with fifth in... Um, light heavyweight as well so it's definitely 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 been a great show um so i'm definitely happy um and you know it is what it is i think you know um one of them things that you know i think had to be experienced from me as a coach as an athlete it's been an incredible journey to be able to do it with so many guys and girls um, it's been a massive learning curve as well and a massive self-confidence boost as well that I am able to do this and handle it well with you know all the pressure and not allow any stress to get to me and still have everyone perfectly ready on the day so um, definitely happy and you know can't really complain guys so we just need to keep moving forward now what's up everyone so show day wrap up um, graftism to be honest, I think this has definitely been, so far, the highlight of my coaching career. Uh, 21 athletes, all looking incredible. Uh, nine wins, two overalls as well. 
which is definitely an incredible achievement with you know a lot of second places as well some thirds in there as well um but you know you can see on previous posts who did what and who placed where but nevertheless just want to say a massive thank you to all my athletes uh, massive thank you to ed and josh both my videographers who was there at the show um working all day tyler so making sure that we get all the footage and content for all of my people um so just definitely want to make this video to express some gratitude this peak week has been amazing literally zero stress with any of my athletes everyone has been ready pretty much a week out so the process has been very smooth checking in daily with every single one of them waking up at half 4 a.m every single day now and that will continue up until the arnold to make sure that i'm actually sat there waiting for the check-ins uh, which for me i think that's essential to keep the stress off the athlete um, and the way I peak, I actually peak my people on a daily basis, making, many, making the manipulations as of where they are needed uh, based off look and based on feedback that I've seen on a daily basis. So as everyone has seen and as every one of my athletes has probably appreciated, um, it did take a lot of stress off them and it made the whole process very smooth for them with very little stress. So just wanted to express my gratitude towards them. Uh, next stop is going to be another highlight of my career, which is the Arnold's. And at the Arnold, um, off the top of my head, I think there is 26 or 27 athletes altogether doing the show with me, um, which, based off this weekend, how smooth everything's gone and how well everything has gone, I seriously cannot wait for it. I cannot wait for that weekend to happen. Um, from a personal basis, doing my own prep and obviously competing at the show and from a professional basis as a coach, having all my athletes there with me, competing and sharing the stage, sharing the day with me, it's just going to be amazing. And for me, this is all literally a dream come true. And, you know, I always say this, but I'm literally living my dream. I'm living my, I'm living the life that I always wanted, being able to do what I love. And it's definitely something that I wanted to bring up to you guys today, um, show some love, show some gratitude and basically just say thank you. And Definitely cannot wait for these coming weeks with all my athletes going to the Arnold's. It's going to be fucking epic. Um, so Arnold UK, here we come. Three weeks out this weekend and everyone's going to bring the A game from my team. And I've got no doubts everyone else's. Um, also, massive shout out to Meg. She has had 16 amazing girls uh, compete at her show. She's done an amazing job with them. Um, obviously, she's been coaching for a substantial amount of time now full-time alongside of me under MK Lee um, coaching, which has been amazing as well. So obviously that's definitely nice and on cake. And between us both, there will be over 40 athletes competing at the Arnold's uh, from MK Coaching Brand, which uh, again, another dream come true, guys. So thank you very much. Thank you to everyone at Two Bros on Arnold's for making it happen, for making these shows a possibility. As again, this is the pinnacle of bodybuilding for us in British bodybuilding right now. It doesn't get better than this. Um, as we are competing at the very top, guys. So thank you all, and let's get it on, guys. Not long left now.